Hey, how are you? How things going? Wonderful, wonderful. Just a few questions. We are currently running Castle Gallery's Young Fine Artists campaign. Do you have any words of wisdom or inspiration for children that love art? It would be lovely if you could say a few words about how you feel about the Young Fine Artist program. Uh, I think it's a great program and I do think the Young Artist and Young Fine Artist program is so amazing because it's given opportunity for young artists and uh, to produce their work, to promote their work and give a platform, but they also give an opportunity for new collectors, people that are collecting you know, uh, um, new artists and, uh, or for someone that's been collecting you know, established artists and then they will start you know, supporting a new a young one. So I congratulate you know, uh, uh, Cast, you know, Castle Galleries for their amazing initiative and also for, you know, I congratulate for the young artists to, be, to have such an incredible opportunity to show and showcase and exhibit their art you know, to amazing you know, crowd and you know, audience. Wonderful. Live here for Castle Galleries. Because you haven't been able to visit the UK during the lockdown, what are you looking forward to most when you're next in London? Oh, well, I mean, definitely I love going to UK and I love going to London and uh, I, I love going to Castle Galleries and I like to go to Hyde Park and there's certain locations I like to go there, which is amazing. Go for a beautiful walk in the morning and Hyde Park is fantastic. That's amazing. How long did it take before you found your style as an artist? Well, I mean, it took a while, and, uh, but it's just like something that you have to keep working every day. Um, because you keep evolving, you know, of course, that whatever you start doing is going to be you know, a really amazing trail of, uh, of your DNA to the rest of somebody else's life. You know, let's say if you see you know, paintings of Picasso, somebody understand about his style, understand about what he's done, you know, like his, uh, his trajectory, you know, um, his career. You will uh, see a piece of Picasso in early days of his career and understand that was Picasso. So I think, you know, that's something for one to understand and appreciate. And uh, once you find something you like doing it, you know, then you have to keep, you know, developing and working on and on and on on your vocabulary. Amazing. It's not easy to forge a career as an artist. Was there a turning point in your life in which you decided no matter what, you're going to take that path? Yeah, I think it's really important to find not only arts, but anything that one person you know, loves doing it. And, uh, you know, and if you find that, if you like cooking, um, then you know, try to be around the food business, maybe a chef, or maybe work in the food business, you know, be a critic, a food critic, if it's in the movie business. There's so much around the movie business. There's so much around those areas that, you know, it's really amazing, you know, like in the arts, there's so much around the art business. And, um, you know, and so basically, yeah, once you find that path, you know, and I might suggest it to anybody, would be to really work, work, work on that develop. I love it. How do you measure success as an artist? I think a lot of times people success, uh, measure success, the amount of money that you, you know, if you sell a lot, you know, that's number one, people measure success. If they're successful, if you make tons of money, if you sell a lot, then you success. But also, I think in the end of the day, the amount of success that I also measure is how happy are you? you know, creating your art, you know, sharing your work with the world, that is the ultimate happiness. Amazing. Which has been your favorite celebrity portrait commission to date and why? Well, I mean, I love when I did the portrait of the Queen because she's someone, the Queen Elizabeth, because she's someone so special and I admire her, um, her, uh, life story and everything, so I'm very happy that I did the Fortune Queen Why is it important to you to create installations for public spaces? 
I mean, I think Art in Public Place is a really amazing experience for an artist because, you know, it's great to have collectors collecting your work, but collecting your work at home is a very intimate, ex intimate experience. And not too many people sometimes can see the art that the artists produce because they are in homes of people. And depending on the house of the person, you know, if the person is super private, it may take forever for that person to you know, show the work to the world. But when art in public places out there in the public, everybody can see it, tons of people. So Amazing. So just two more. Do you have any personal goals or ambitions that you feel you haven't achieved yet? Oh my God, I have so many ideas that I would love to do it. It's just a matter of time and tons of money. But yes, there's so many that I wanted to do. It matters time, money, and time. Time and money. Amazing, amazing. So final question. You've said before your intent is for your art to make people happy. What makes you happy? When are you at your happiest? Oh my goodness, um, I, there's moments when I create a piece of art, I feel really good about it because it's an accomplishment, it's done, and now this piece is on its way for a new journey, which is you know, going to a gallery, going to somebody else's home, and uh, going to a building, to a place, a public place, and that is when, you know, that's one sort of happiness, you know, feeling, a feeling of happiness. But there's so many other ones, you know, that you know make you uh, feel special in your day and uh, but this one of them is when i finish this work amazing amazing well we can't wait to be back in the united kingdom right with yes. romero brito at castle Thank galleries you. your incredible art is available on their website correct and uh, I'm sure it'll be in a, a lot to come. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Castle Gallery, and all my supporters all over the UK. Thank you.